What's up, JD Aliens? Look, I know you came here to see what my take is on the uh, DJI Osmo Mobile 3, and I'm gonna give it to you, but not before I dig into DJI just a little bit, man, because they, it's, it's okay. First of all, let me get one thing straight. DJI is my favorite company when it comes to like drone stuff and gimbal technology. Like I've tried other stuff and it's just not as good as DJI puts out. I have a Mavic Pro, I have an Osmo Pocket with every available official accessory that they put out and that's part of what I'm gonna get into. I have the Osmo Action. I also use the Ronin SE for a lot of my professional work. And now I have the Osmo Mobile 3. Let's do it. Now, the thing I hate about DJI is how they release their products. They release their products and it's almost like they do it in a way that they can just master the cash grab. When they release the Osmo Pocket, yes, it will function without the accessories, but man, they really dig into your pockets with all the accessories that they put out because in order to unlock the full potential of that thing, you gotta have the accessories. So they price it at like 300, 350, and then they add on another 150, almost $200 worth of accessories between a mic adapter, wireless adapter, and all this other kind of stuff when they just could have put it in the camera. So I was a little upset about that. Osmo Action, mm, no, nah, Osmo Action, good. Osmo Action for an action camera, I think they did that right. I can't really think of any way they screwed us on that one, but now we have the Osmo Mobile 3. And while this is so much better than the Osmo Mobile 2, it still comes with that DJI cash grab moniker. Man, this is how they get us. So I've already unboxed this thing and I've actually used it. And I'll be honest with you, as much as DJI gets on my nerves, they just do these kind of things right. But like I said, masters of the cash grab. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish touching up on this cash grab thing. And then I'm gonna focus on how awesome this thing is and why you should buy one. So when this thing first launched, you know, you saw a lot of reviewers kind of holding it up by itself and you know, it, it's compact, it folds and everything, which is great. And it's supposed to be used this way. You just unfold it, put your camera in there or your phone rather, and you just start using it. Problem is they made this thing with this like curved edge right here. So it will not stand up on its own. It just won't. So of course they sell separately a tripod, which is part of that whole cash grab mentality. Why doesn't this just come with it. I, I don't understand why they just didn't make this thing flat. So this would come with it automatically, just like, you know, the Ronins and stuff like that, or like the regular Osmo, it just kind of stands up by itself. So they force you to buy a tripod just because you don't want to be laying this thing down everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And then when they actually force you to buy it, because I ended up getting the, uh, the combo kit that they sell, you could actually buy just the gimbal by itself, or you can buy the combo kit, which comes with the case and the tripod. Now, when you've ordered this thing by itself, this is what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a charging cable. I don't know what this is. Can somebody tell me what this is in the comments? I thought it was for the tripod, but there's four and they don't match up with the tripod fee. I have no idea what this is. It was in my box. You get a lanyard, power cable, and this is kind of a flannel sack with some Osmo branding on it, and then you get your gimbal. Cool, that's it. But when you buy the combo pack for like, I don't know, maybe 30 bucks more or something like that, you get this case that they want you to put this gimbal in and a tripod. Here's why I have a problem. Once this thing is folded up, you put it in the case that comes with the combo. Now you have nowhere to store your tripod. Seriously, they sell you a, a they give you a sack with it, which makes sense. If you're just buying the gimbal itself, it fits perfectly in that sack. But when you buy the case, it just holds the gimbal and nothing else. Okay, yeah, you can fit the cable or something in there, but the tripod is not sticking in there. I don't need this padding right here. So yeah, it just fits in there and that is infuriating because when I'm using the gimbal, a lot of times, you know, when I get my shot or whatever, I'm not necessarily done with it. I don't want to lay it down. I just want to put it down on the ground or on a table or something and just let it sit there. But now when it's time to pack things up and put it away, I don't have a place to put this, even though I paid extra for a case and it doesn't. So now I'm just gonna have to figure out what to do with this thing while I'm on the move. I got this thing, like you put it in your pocket and then people gonna be like, hey man, is that an Osmo Mobile 3 in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> then you got some explaining to do. Anyways, let's get on with why this thing is so awesome and why you should buy one. First of all, it's so awesome because yeah, it's a DJI product and this is just what they do well, man. It's got a nice solid all plastic build, which is fine with me because DJI's plastic choices are always top notch. You unfold this bad boy from its compact position. You slide your phone into what I believe is probably the best phone grip on the market. 
Uh, this was the same one I got for the uh, the DJI Ronin SE, and they now have it on the Osmo Mobile 3, and it is just the one of the best. Uh, no, this is the best phone mount that I've ever used in my life. It's just perfect for a phone. You slide your phone in there and you really don't have to balance it much. You just kind of get your phone centered in there just a little bit. All right, I've already figured out where mine is. I barely got to cover up the power button on there. So I got a Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So if I slide my phone in there, can you see that? If I slide my phone in there just to where the power button is covered up by the grip, it should balance out pretty well. Okay, I didn't get it right on the first try, but let me see, let me slide just a little bit. All right, so it's not perfectly balanced, but once you open this thing up, you, put, you hit that power button, hold it for a couple of seconds, it does all the work it needs to do. Look at that, now it's ready. Now, if I double tap the mode button, it'll go into landscape mode, which is where I take all my video. For those of you vertical photographers and videographers, man, shame on you. I know the world has adapted to portrait video, but man, God, I, I hate the movement. Let's go back to, to uh, landscape the way it's meant to be. Okay, 16 by nine. Now you got your battery indicators there. You got your joystick right here. It's like a thumb joystick. It's very responsive. It's just, I mean, you got all the control you need. On the opposite side, you have a trigger, which does some really cool stuff. So let me go ahead and go into the DJI Mimo app, which you must download in order to unlock the full potential of this thing. It will work with just a regular camera on your phone, but you won't be able to record and stuff from this button right here. You won't have any camera controls unless you are using the DJI Mimo app. Now, when it comes to the app, like I said before, if you want to unlock the full potential of this thing, you got to have that app running. Yes, you can use it with the regular camera app on your phone, but then you can't do stuff like this. So if I hold up the peace sign, it automatically goes into active track and it'll take a picture or a video, whichever one I have it set on. Going into the settings, Yes, you can put this on gesture control. That way you can put up a, a hand just like this or throw up a peace sign and it goes into active track and it'll take your picture or record video. Or you can toggle this off and that'll give you the option to use one press active track. And that's basically gonna let you use the trigger to either activate or disable active track on both sides of the camera, whether it be your front facing camera or your rear facing camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on that. You do have a lot of professional features in here for your phone, but let's just face it, man. I don't believe this was made for professional videographers and uh, photographers, I believe it was made for the average consumer. Like my buddy Derek, he just wanted a handheld gimbal that was pretty small so he could film his daughter's soccer and, and his other daughter's band events and stuff like that without having that camera shake going on uh, from the mobile phones and holding them sideways for a long time. So that's who this was made for. So I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail that only like camera nerds like myself will be concerned with. This video is for guys like Derek who just wanna have a smaller device like this that they can just put away and don't need to spend a ton of money on. And you can just record your kids events and just have some good family memories without having a bunch of shaking unstable video to watch as far as stability goes when it comes to handheld phone gimbals dji has got it on lock i'm actually at my park right now just cruising through the park man but there's no action going on out here which is actually a good thing because i'm kind of working right now and i don't need all the interference from kids kicking balls in my face and stuff like that uh, there is one thing that I don't like, which I hope they'll fix in a software update, is that when you tap the trigger three times, it's supposed to either uh, go to your front facing camera or your rear facing camera, depending on which one you're at already. And I'm tapping it right now and nothing is happening. So I wish you could actually just kind of, you know, shift cameras and keep recording. But I guess, you know, since you're using two different cameras, it's just not going to be able to do that. That would be something pretty awesome that they would add if they were able to do it. But what it can do is once you hit this mode button twice, it'll rotate into portrait mode. Yeah, I know people like to do Instagram videos like in vertical and stuff like that. But just in case you want to rotate between modes on the fly while you're recording, you don't have to stop and press record and stop and press record again. Now, as far as vlogging and stuff like that, as you can see, look at that handsome face, man. That face is something to be reckoned with right there. Even though my head is kind of sweaty, it does vlogging very well. But it also does active track while you're recording. So right now the active track is not on. See, I'm moving my, my face and I'm getting out of frame. But if I hit this trigger one time, it's gonna lock on my face. And now, yeah, you see that? You see how the camera's moving? So let's just keep it there as I talk to you guys. So if I rotate the camera around, you'll see it's locked on my face because it can't stay away from all that handsomeness right there. So for vlogging, I definitely give this thing an A plus. If you got a good phone camera, man, if your phone camera is trashy, then yeah, you'll need to upgrade that. But you know, as far as a gimbal, yeah, you got super smooth footage. You got some features here that I really like as far as like, 
you know, just a quick tap of a trigger or a mode button. Like I said before, this video is not intended for camera geeks like myself, you know, because I don't believe that's what this gimbal was made for. I think it was made for, you know, like the mom or dad who wants to capture family moments or, you know, like the person who travels a lot and needs something kind of lightweight to take with them and it wasn't going to take up a lot of space but they could still capture their memories without having jittery and shaky video dji has created a great app to go with this thing uh, the memo app it has a bunch of features in it that will actually make you almost like a master video editor okay it's a lot of ai involved in there and it, it helps you out quite a bit but the reason why i get so upset with dji is because of stuff like this tripod that i have attached on here not having space for that in the case is really a dick move on dji's part because i have it attached right now and that affords me to be able to do stuff like this all i got to do is single tap the uh, active track button and i can put this thing down on the tripod just like this okay my face is it's it's see it's yeah you see that now i'm walking away let's say i'm with my family or something like that and we want to take a quick video of ourselves and we're doing some stuff and it needs to keep up with me see how it's keeping up you can't do stuff like that if your gimbal falls on the ground because it didn't have a tripod because it wouldn't fit in the case that you bought so you just opted not to bring it but since i brought my tripod with me and decided to carry it in my pocket i can do stuff like that so dji i hope you're listening man that was a dick move for not making space in the case for the tripod other than that this is a fantastic gimbal for the average consumer for a videographer like myself yeah it's a great tool man i've used this in a lot of my b-roll and i feel confident because i have a good phone with a good camera i feel confident that if i either use my my, my phone with the built-in camera or even the dji mimo app which is a different camera software it's good enough it doesn't unlock the full potential of the hardware of my phone camera but it does have a lot of great options and features in the app so it would be great for any videographer who's using this as maybe b-roll or something like that or anybody who's an aspiring youtuber who just wants a simple inexpensive setup but i ain't no expert in this kind of stuff man i'm just telling y'all how much i like this gimbal and letting y'all look at my handsome face right there look at that man look at god dog and the camera just can't stay off of it anyways man if y'all had a good time checking out this gimbal with me man make sure you throw those emoji hands up in the comment section and i'll see y'all at the next one hey where you going no 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 sit back down we gotta talk about this you didn't have a good time all right then hit the subscribe button there you go reach down there there you go and then hit the bell because you need to know when i'm opening up more new stuff you got to come right back here and check this stuff out now don't you feel like a better human being all right i knew you would all right man i'll see you soon are you not entertained are you not entertained is this not why you are here